Enhanced brand content or A-plus content is one of the greatest things that Amazon released to uh, Amazon sellers through the brand registry in the last couple of years. There's a lot of debate on what to do or how to build it. And Amazon um, you know, pretty much didn't give you any tools to help you figure that out. When you have your own website, you could have data to A-B test on your site. And on Amazon, this is a brand new feature to A-B test now within A-plus content. Hi, my name is Stephen Pope. I'm uh, the founder of my Amazon guy, uh, digital consulting agency. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the new A-B testing features. This should be rolled out to most, if not all, accounts at this stage. To see if you qualify, you just put your cursor over advertising, go to A-plus content manager. And in the end here, you can see a section or a little tool tip for A-B testing. You click on that, that will load your experiment center. Um, there's a lot of information you can read through here to understand it. Um, I'm just going to go through some basic information. We have conducted a test that we started almost uh, about 21 days ago. And, you know, it was a very basic test. We're basically just trying to figure out, you know, where can we make some improvements? We do, as an agency, sell A-plus content for $500. Uh, you can go over to myamazonguide.com, click on services, and go to enhanced brand content A-plus. We have, we've done this for about 60 clients, um, and, and A-plus content absolutely will increase traffic and conversion to your listing. So as we try to take some of these designs and say, hey, you know, what else could we do to make these better? Um, there's a bunch of best practices like making your length of your A-plus content as long as possible and try and include as much copy as you possibly can, putting keywords behind each photo. There's a bunch of tips and tricks you can do, but for the most part, these best practices are highly contested and debated within the Amazon community as a seller. So we're trying to get some data to figure out, okay, where, where can we take the next step? So here's a test we ran. We basically made a very small test to say, hey, does including a second big photo within the A-plus content make sales go up? And that was the question. Now, it's not letting me scroll down here very effectively, so this is going to be difficult to demo. I'll have to do it on the, the small screen here, but you can see here, we basically tested does having a second big photo with no other changes increase or decrease sales. The data is in and it's definitely got a 4% increase or improvement by not having a second big photo. So we're speculating why that might be the case and the main theory we have is that it pushed down the product grid um, too far. So the product grid would be a product comparison chart comparing the products and we think that that's probably um, a really important element by having it lower below, uh, below the fold. Um, so now we're going to run some additional tests where we put the product grid higher. And we're going to do this across several different clients to see you know, what kind of sales impact that makes. So the thing I like about the A-B testing is they do, they do give you conversion elements, um, units, sales, sample size. So this has run through 600 people so far. And an A-B test will, will split the traffic between uh, the, the visibility. So half the people that come to the detail page will see version A, half the people will see version B, and the nice thing about the A-B test is it will, it will flip-flop um, in the middle of a day. So if you were trying to do an A-B test without an A-B test tool, you could have A-plus content up for seven days, switch it out for another seven days, but that's not a true A-B test because you aren't comparing uh, the actual um, rhythm of, of the sales cycle. And what I mean by that is um, your conversion could be better on Valentine's Day than it could be on March 3rd for a hundred different reasons. And, and if you A-B test with a tool, you can actually uh, test by the second or test by the minute flipping between consumers um, during those spikes in traffic. So it becomes a true A-B test when you split the traffic on any given minute or day instead of doing this in a long time period or, or a week. Um, if you don't have A-plus a content up yet, you should go get it built. You're not ready for A-B testing. Just go get it simply loaded. If you have A-plus content and it's been in place for a while and you're wondering, how can I improve this? Go simply run an A-B test. Choose one single element to test. Don't do a very big change. If you change too many things, you won't actually know which change was what made the improvement. So change one small element at a time and then make the change. So if, if version A was the winner, Make A um, the live version and then run another B test in addition to that. If you run an A, B, C, D test and you're running too many things, you won't know the combination of, well, is it A plus one and B plus two 
that made the best combination factor. So that's a lot of AB multivariant testing theory to discuss. I'll sidestep most of that. For the purpose of this video, I'm just advocating that you simply run some kind of A-B test to figure out which version is better. Then go cross-apply it and run more tests. If you do that, your sales are going to go up, your traffic is going to go up, your conversion is going to go up, and you're going to be rewarded by Amazon. So that's my, that's my recommendation. If you have any questions on how to set up an A-B test, first recommend you go through the tutorials and then create a new experiment. And that's where you're going to select which elements you edit, go through those steps. If you need A-plus content, go over to MyAmazonGuy.com, hit Get Started Now, and we'll help you out. Uh, for $500, we build A-plus content per design. If you have any questions, leave them in the video. We'll be happy to answer them as well. Thanks so much.